good morning friends welcome to satyam homeopathy academy myself dr amit gohil as usual i am sharing with you uh, one of my clinical case with you today's case is of acute cystitis a 20 years old girl came to me with a complaint of uh, pain in urinations with red urine uh, and and pain at the end of urination that was since two days so the first and foremost questions i asked about do you have a menses she said no so that is what one of the reason to rule out the red urine so she had a pain and red urine so i suspect it may be due to some calculi or some of the infection so i advise her to go for cbc urine and usg uh so and i prescribe the remedy so we will go for the investigation so investigation suggests that it was on the 21st of august 2018 cbc was uh, uh hb was 11.7 total count was 13600 uh, rest all normal uh, neutrophil was 80 and lymphocyte was 15 so this suggests that there is some acute inflammatory processes going on inside our body the urine report the urine report of the same day shows albumin stress occult blood was present and uh, microscopically there is a plenty of pus cells and rbc around 80 to 100 hepatitis cell cell was 1 to 2 bacteria present so it is just the case that it is a urinary tract infection there is a pus there is a bleeding and there is a bacteria on investigation of usg abdomen the usg abdomen shows that uh, kidney was normal right left kidney no calculi is there and uh, bladder wall was distended and diffuse wall thickening so it is just the possibility of cystitis now we have to treat the patient the cystitis with blood in the urine so we have to probe the thorax hypothesis and syphilis so by looking at these three reports we have to consider everything in patients so as a clinician i took following rubric the first rubric was uh, there is inflammation of the bladder so cystitis so rubric was taken bladder inflammation there is a pus in the urine so rubric was taken urine purulent sediment The third is that there is 80 to 100 uh, red cells in the urine, so it is blood in the urine, so urine bloody, and uh, she complain of that pain was pain is pain in urethra, uh, urination after, so after urination there is a aggravation. So by looking at this, I have a repetition chart. The remedy is Naxomica, Falsetilla, Sarsaparilla, and Sulfur. but the patient's version was that when i last drop the urination the end of the urination she had much of the pain at the uh, meatus so this is what i found only in boric materia medica in the remedy sarsa parilla where it was written beautifully that the urine is scanty slimy flaky sandy bloody gravel renal colic severe pain at conclusion of urination at the end of urination and that was the pqrs of the patient so on the basis of this i prescribed sarsa parilla uh, 200 for 2 days dd dose and uh, on the 23rd of august i advised her to go for the urine analysis so uh, follow up came to me with a report that there is a no pain no red urine everything was normal and on investigation it is found that the pus cell from plenty to 8 to 10 and rbc was absent so this is what a uh, clear cut understanding that the reversal of miasm from syphilis to sora to uh, again i prescribe asl and advise her to come with the 3 days after the all another report so she came to me with the cbc report on 25th and the cbc report also shows everything was normal count become normal so 
so this is what a clear cut understanding of the case when you have some investigative data and you uh, apply that investigation data into repertorial totality and you will get a narrow range of some uh, certain remedy and out of that you have to pick up certain pqrs symptoms from the patient's clinical point of view and prescribe according to that that will give you a wonderful result in a patient so this is what uh, last urine report was absolutely normal first cell was 3 to 4 rbc was absent epithelial cell and everything albumin sugar acetone bile salt albumin all are absent hope you enjoy this clinical case and uh, hope you like my videos and if you like my videos if you have any questions and queries of certain uh, tips on uh, clinical point of view please let me know i will uh, if time permit i will share with my experience with all of you hope you enjoy our series of lectures we will have a 21 uh, marathon materia medica series lectures and uh, up till now we have covered four lecture series and coming lectures is in the way i hope you enjoy uh, if you like my videos please share comments and share with your friends thank you all jai animan jai homeopathic